house. Good morning. You forgot the blower, man. Yeah, you forgot the blower, man. So we have to mulch some more of this. You guys seen this the other day. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do two yards real quick and then we're off to mow our big three acre property and do some aerations and mulch. And then at the end of the night, we're gonna spade out probably 2,000 foot in beds. Yes. Right, boss? You looking forward to that? But I'm not gonna record that, guys. So we finished them two yards, boss. Yep. We also went and got two more yards for tomorrow. We're not sure if we're gonna come back tomorrow evening, which is Sunday because today's Chase's birthday. Yeah, our youngest son's birthday, so. So they wanna go hiking tomorrow with the dog and then go out to the arcade out in Cherokee. So mm -hmm. we're gonna do that and see if we have time to uh, to come, come back and not, do and this do Monday at some point yeah because the open house is Tuesday yes. so okay. but it's okay we only have this little section left yeah that and behind there mm -hmm. and this section and then over there mm -hmm. okay. so we're here to mow this one our three acres it got really windy all of a sudden so we're mowing all this all over here the whole field see if I can put some stripes Okay guys, we finished this one. Look at the view from here. The boss mowed that way. You see the big stripes. I mowed all the way down to the tree line there. And then the boss mowed all over here. Just gotta load everything up. All there. And then we mow all up and down the roadway here. And then that side over there. So we're gonna mow this one here and aerate and seed it. So hopefully I can get the aerator on that hill. The boss might not be happy. I didn't realize my bag of seed was leaking. There goes product all over the road, guys. Let's see, where'd it go to? So it's all the way down around and I did a circle. But we finished that up there aerating and seeding. We'll show them in the video to do the mulch but today guys has been a i mean money wise we did we're doing really good for three jobs but as far as like other things what we planned on getting done yeah we had a lot more money. yes we had planned to do a lot more today and it just seems like everything that could have gone wrong went wrong we went up to do wrong. two yards on the mountain you've seen forgot our blower because we had the silver truck Mm -hmm. Then we came back, got the truck, went back up there to blow everything off. Coming back down, we needed our debit card. So we had to go back to the house again. Actually, we didn't even find, find the, the debit, debit card. Because the employee lost it. So we had to go all the way to the bank and withdraw money out so we could buy fertilizer to do the aerations. Yeah. We had three aerations scheduled. We only got one done. Mm -hmm. And then we got the three acres mode you've seen. Mm -hmm. So we're off to spade. I'm going to say a good maybe 1,000 feet of beds. Might even be two or 3,000 feet of beds. I don't know. We'll have to measure it. So this is our very big pine straw job. 250 bales. Um, and you guys saw actually uh, we did the pruning last fall. Where I don't got, know. We did it on a Sunday. Right. And we got the cops called on us. Um, so that was that's the same house. And now we're going back to finish. They wanted to wait until spring to do the mulch you know obviously so that it wasn't getting oh, i'm tired boss you winter work me too hard i'm sorry you it's work me too hard i'm going to spade two thousand foot of beds we've got this by hand yeah by hand no bed editor guys no bed editor thank goodness the temperature is only going to be in the low 50s for the next three days it'll stunt that grass for a little while yeah so that we can get caught up on projects so, so. i'll show you a little bit of it i'm not going to record too much on this one Okay. So we are here, guys, and what I have to, oh, excuse me, what I have to do is spade all this goes around the house, this bed, there's beds in front of the house, spade all down around here, spade all around that house, around them trees, it goes all the way around back there. So I'm going to get started. I got two hours to spade all this, and I'm going to measure it out and let you know how much it is. There you guys go. So it's almost 8 o'clock, we're almost done. The boss is lime in this yard. We got the okay to fertilize it, lime it, and everything. Look at that view. 
that I did all these beds here. I'll let you know how many feet they are. I'm only a quarter of the way done now. And as you can see up there, we spaded all of them. All along here in the front of the house. Down along the spade around them trees there, that middle island. This island, that island over there with the crepe myrtle in it, all the way up the other side of the house still. So what I got done was probably a, maybe a third of the beds because there's all beds up front too, but let me finish. So these are the front ones I did. I did all the way around, all the way around the house, this bed. There's beds over there. When we come back, we got to spade all down this bed. All the beds around that house, the beds around these trees, and then there's beds that go all the way around. Oak tree is right. It is a giant tree. Look at this thing. How long do you think it's been here? I don't know. Look how big it's fat, like all the way up. Man, that's beautiful. Yeah, it is. That's a big tree. Kind of dark. Oh my gosh, it's eight o'clock. Yes, it is. On our son's birthday, we are terrible. Good thing tomorrow's Sunday, and we can have. A Most little, of the day, we're yeah. gonna do. We're gonna go hiking. It's only gonna be 47 and 40 mile an hour winds, so we're gonna hike in uh, freezing. We're I think. Hike in a blizzard. I well, I think we're gonna try to get the kids to go to the to the park. Yeah, to the just, dog park. Or just right around here, not the the Mills Road where the yeah swing set is. Yeah, where the swing set and the dog park. So. Oh, you can see. I think they want to go hiking. I know. And we're gonna to go, go to the casino where they have an arcade for the kids to play. Mm-hmm. I'm bowling and stuff, so we're gonna have a family fun day. Um, and while Carl was spading, how many feet of beds? Six hundred feet so far. I think there's probably gonna be a total of two thousand five hundred feet of beds to be spaded. Yeah. So while while he was spading those beds I was walking around with the client um, we added some and we actually and by added. the way he said that he's been talking about yeah this. so we've been wondering why we've been getting so many calls from the golf course area from the golf course area and apparently it's because of him <laughs> so um, he said he knows a lot of people and if we want a lot more yeah, he doesn't want to overwhelm us, he said, so he wants to make sure that he doesn't overwhelm us, but um, he would like for us to take over his yard for fertilizer. Um, so we have his father's house, his house, and apparently he is speaking to other people, other people in this area. So it is... Oh, and I do want to mention this too. I'm sorry that it's dark and um, this is tough to see, but I do want to mention a, a lot of times we get comments and questions about, well, why don't we go out and, you know, purchase a bed redefiner or why don't we go out and you know get something to make the bed redefining easier it there's a few different reasons right okay one coral hand spades everything and our clients love it it does make a huge difference over a bed edge or it's more crisp even a lot of comments we've gotten saying that, that it's more crisper Another thing is we're in the mountains, so there's a lot of rocks. Right. And roots. And roots tree roots. So I don't care what bed edger you have. It's not cutting through roots. I mean, you got to sometimes pick around the roots. And, right. You know. So we appreciate your comments and we appreciate your and suggestions. And I know it would make it maybe faster. I guess I should try it one day, but I've been told that it's not as clean. It's not as a, it's not as a well-defined edge as what our clients are used to. And this is what our clients are used to. They're used to the detail. They're used to um, us doing it this way. And that is why I think that we've had, you know, the clients return with us for year after year, because let's face it, this business does have a lot of overturn. You know, you have people that sell houses, you have people that, you know, are just looking for a better deal each year. Yeah. And um, we have to say that we're very fortunate that we haven't had a lot of overturn 
and I really do think no, that... No, I think we lost in the last two seasons, maybe two accounts because they weren't happy. But... And we're not going to make everybody happy. We understand that. Um, but, you know, at the same sense, you know, there is a reason that we've had those clients return with us for year after year. And one of it is probably who we are. And communicate. We make a very good team and we communicate very well with our clients. And then the other is that the so, detail and, that we put another in. another thing, I, a lot of people ask, well, what do we do for advertising in this and that? And I'm going to be quite honest, we don't really. We had the website built for us. Yeah. So that's the only advertising and social media, obviously. And social media. But we but... don't pay for advertising. I don't even, I won't even let her to truck because we, I don't know. It's just, we've been fortunate that we just keep getting calls. Well, and clients refer. that are happy, you know, refer us. So we have been very blessed to be able to not have to hustle to try to find work. Right. Um, you know, that we've had good clients and then they just spread our names for and us. And of course, so. being a smaller company, it's probably easier for us to fill up than, you know, somebody who has 50 employees. They have Exactly. To right. You still have to. Work. And we understand that. And we would love to have a point in time in our business that, you know, we have to say, oh my gosh, we have to get back to advertising because we, we so need to, yeah, so we need to fill up two crews or whatever. But so for if anybody now, out there in YouTube world is looking for a good career with Happy's family, <laughs> with Happy's lawn care and landscaping, landscaping, we are looking to hire somebody that wants to really get expand into the with the business and expand with us. Yes. So. All right. Well, thanks for watching. We do appreciate. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Be happy, boss. <laughs> or at least try. Have a good night.